Hi, my name is Doug Franson. I'm Assistant Director of the Institute for Latino Studies at Notre Dame, and I'd like to welcome you to our organization. We've been here since 1999, and in the past 10 years have brought in quite a bit of research funding. Over the last 10 years, we've had the opportunity to work with many different projects. But this year, we're turning our attention to a new vision, which is to make Notre Dame the leading academic institution in the country for Latino studies and research. Gil Cardenas is the, also the executive director of IUPLR. IUPLR is the Inter-University Program for Latino Research, and Notre Dame is the national headquarters for this organization, made up of 23 research institutions around the country, mostly based at universities. So here at the Institute for Latino Studies, we have a lot of programs and events, internships, lectures, film series, student workshops, student films. This is our beautiful reading room, and we also have a rare book room and the special collections. And what I'd like to do is introduce you to Tracy Grimm, our librarian and archivist. Our goal is to, 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 to gather the materials, the primary source materials, the papers, things that people have in their files and their attics that never made it into libraries or archives, uh, artists, writers, that will help um, that will help scholars and students understand and get a window into the Latino experience in the United States. Here in the Julian Samora Library we have Notre Dame students and students from other colleges that come to use our collections and these students are working with the papers of artist Paul Sierra who is from Chicago and he, uh, we're very fortunate, he donated some of his artwork along with his papers. I work at the Center for Latino Spirituality and Culture at the Institute for Latina Studies. We focus on Latinos in the U.S. that from a Catholic perspective, we uh, do research on topics of, uh, such as immigration and the church, uh, migration, refugees, and world religion. I just want to show you a couple of our film projects. And here is, we have Strangers No Longer. One Border, One Body, and our most popular, most endearing is Dying to Live, A Migrant's Journey. Over the years, we've done research projects in different areas, and we've realized the importance of focusing on Latino health, and obesity is certainly a huge problem for the Latino community. The Institute for Latino Studies is the headquarters of the IUPLRs. We help to coordinate all the 22 centers across the, uh, across the United States to collaborate, and I think that that's the main um, synergy between the Institute and UPLR. The goal um, is to create awareness among the Latino communities across the United States and we are focusing where we have all these member centers based in each state. What we have found in, in, in the last five years that we have been working with the, um, with the obesity program is that Latinos are very visual, very audio, and so what we tried to accomplish through this program was to reach out Latinos by radio post, post podcast, which was uh, an effective media to reach Latinos because Latinos uh, listen to a lot of radio. The second was to create posters that try to reflect and attract the current Latino audience by using uh, art as a, as a mean to, to attract people, but also with messages in Spanish and English that helps Latinos to create a conscious and awareness that obesity and eating healthy needs to happen in, in, the, in the different communities. Our mission also includes uh, sharing an appreciation for the Latino experience in the United States. And through our academic programs, we feel it's important that all students have access to Latino studies courses so they can better understand the world in which they will soon leave. Here in Notre Dame, there is a great, great library. There is a great, great group of professionals. And there is a, a fantastic uh, statistic team uh, working in all these things. And also because uh, we are very close to Chicago, that, like everybody knows, you know, is one of the most important Latino communities in the, in the USA. We're, we're very proud of our accomplishments in our research over the years. In fact, we're known uh, nationally for the policy-relevant research that we do, especially in the Chicago area. Um, we have internships for our students in the Chicago area, as well as in Los Angeles and in Washington, D.C. Because of the university's long history of helping immigrants, we're very proud to be part of the University of Notre Dame. I want to thank you for visiting the Institute and hope to see you again soon.